Yo, my people around the world, welcome back. I'm Paul. This is my studio, Warsaw Poland, and my humble YouTube channel, a place where we talk about music mixing, mastering, production, sound design, game audio, and more. And today we're gonna be actually back to some mixing stuff, I would say, because there is a kind of a big news around. UAD Universal Audio lets you buy their native plugins in three bundles right now. Yeah, you don't have to subscribe to UAD Spark anymore. You don't need UAD Apollo interfaces, DSP cards. Also, Luna system has been detached for you from UAD hardware. And that somehow means probably that Universal Audio goes fully native with their plugins in the nearest future, guys. Also, all the UAD X native plugins got their updates recently and that that brings two questions to me. First one, do they finally get side chaining as they VST3 plugins? And second, do they actually null with the DSP versions? Because I never checked on that. Is the algorithm exactly the same? Let's find out. To make this test happen, we're gonna probably test it out on a couple of different plugins by UADX that I already own. I own them because I got them for free because I own the DSP versions. And the first one I'm thinking about is, of course, EQP1A. Let's test it on an EQ. I did even some settings on it here. As you can see, this is the DSP card based version of this plugin. Hmm, four like this, exactly four, exactly three, six, three, whatever the settings, I both boosted, attenuated something, highs and lows. What I'm gonna actually do first is that I'm gonna duplicate this track and I'm gonna just invert the phase uh, on the DSP version to see whether the algorithm on the DSP nulls itself. Is it fully static? Or is there any amount of randomness maybe in this algorithm, in the harmonics, in the frequency response, whatever? Invert left and right channel, guys. And sounds like they null. This is the mixer. Yes, they null to absolute digital silence. That means that the algorithm is fully static. There's no randomness in it in time. And yeah, it nulls as it is. But now, my friends, we're gonna take the native version. And actually, you know what? I've heard that UAD claims that I can swap or copy presets between these two? Well, I think I was kind of mistaken. I hoped for that, but apparently this is not true. I cannot copy setting. I can paste it here, but here's UADX. I cannot paste. I cannot also load uh, the preset I called simply test in pull tag. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do it manually. Yeah, the interface is completely the same, though native version finally lets me <laughs> scale my interface. Welcome 4K native monitors. This is exactly pixel by pixel copied. So now, guys, it's already phase inverted, so when I take this one and this one, they should possibly null. They don't. Are the settings really the same? Okay, guys, they null. So I must have missed something in the settings. Actually, I did not make them exactly the same because they finally did null. Let's go to the next plugin, which is going to be 
Well, on 7.6 version AE, this is the compressor from UAD I'm actually using most. I believe it sounds great. I love it. And it's factory settings. They already do some compression. So, duplicating, inverting the phase. And I suppose they null. Compressor is more time dependent, but it's absolutely possible to create an algorithm that behaves sample by sample in an identical way. So my bet is they null. Of course they do. That means that this algorithm, uh, uh, algorithm though it's time dependent, it's absolutely static. It's repetitive. There's no a tiny bit amount of randomness in it. And now native version. Inverted, and there's also going to be a big question, and you know what? As it is a compressor and a VST3 plugin, is there side chaining? Can I use finally UAD compressors with a side chain signal? Boom! That's the interface, and I can already see that. Routing editor. No. And this is disappointing, my friends. I've got a VST great UAD algorithm of a famous compressor, and I cannot use it in side chaining mode. UAD, why is that? Why is it so difficult for you to implement this? preserving the original algorithms. Guys, answer this question, because this is not the way it should be. This, I'm sorry to say, is disappointing. And this is the shortest answer to the question, can you finally side chain with UAD compressors? No, apparently you can't. Guys, let's get back to this. DSP version. And probably, yes, they've got exactly the same to one, exactly very same settings. So hopefully they're going to null right away. There's like a very tiny bit of a signal here. It's not actually audible, but it tells me that this is not nulling fully. Let's render in place again. They didn't null fully, but maybe this is a phase issue of some kind. As for me, this is sample accurate, but No, they almost null. There's very tiniest bit of something that differs here. Mm, but OK, this is like just a tiny bit. And the conclusion here is that having actually UAD native, I'm safe to say that actually, yes, you do get the same great UAD algorithm known from DSP versions. Mm, I'm going to take one more. Uh, but you know what, that's going to be kind of an experiment, because this reverb should not null itself in any version. There is amount of randomness in it, in this algorithm, so it will not null actually, because every time it responds in a bit different way. So let's duplicate and let's invert face. Exactly, they don't null. Um, I knew it actually, but I wanted just to show it to you guys. And well, mm, the collection of UADX plugins is still growing, I would say. This is how it looks. This is the full 
palette of what you can choose from in native versions that's not all but i'm quite sure this collection is gonna be growing tested it on testing it on one eq one compressor and the reverb is enough for me to sum the things up for you when going for uad native plugins there's a good news and for now there's one bad news the good news is that you get actually the same great algorithm there's a tiny bit of a change in the compressor 1176 but it's really so minor that we can say they are mm, identical audibly mm, mm, Pultec is absolutely identical guys <laughs> the point is that though these are VST3 plugins there's no side chaining and this is a bad news I thought they need some time to implement it but now I'm starting wondering, is there any technical flaw of the design of the plugins taken from the DSP platform that they cannot be simply made sidechained? I think adding sidechaining in a VST3 container is kind of an easy thing. If I'm wrong, correct me, guys, because this is like... Why? This is really disappointing and I'm still looking forward to it, guys. Also, there's one kind of mixed news uh, going towards good news because uh, the range, the selection of native UAD plugins is kind of limited for now. But this collection is going to be growing, guys. And sooner rather or later, I'm sure that all the UAD plugins will be available as native versions. Also, UAD is going to make new plugins as they simply do and these are go going to be exclusively native without dsp one day guys so that's it for today i hope you liked it i'm gonna tweak something more maybe still today hope to hear from you soon hope to hear from you down below in the comment section bye